guys, so this is the official DJI simulator. Um, link in the description where it came from. Uh, Windows 10 to run this program on your PC. It's basically a DJI drone um, sort of if you're looking to getting drones, it's a startup program where you can do some flying and learn how they are controlled and what the various features of the the FPV and the DJI software offer for you. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So as I said, Windows 10 only, go to the DJI software site and download away, which is what you guys can see on the screen now. So let's um, cue the editing and uh, yeah, get to the good bit. Okay, this is the first screen that you're presented with, um, DJI, Future of Possible, so it's pretty cool, you get to scroll through the different types of DJI drones here, um, select the one you want to fly, and fly away, and from my messing around and playing it actually seems that uh, yeah, you can um, fly the drones They are do fly how the actual drones themselves in real life fly. So the Mavic goes pretty quick and the, the Spark goes a little bit slower and the Spire goes even quicker again. So it's um, yeah, a pretty good simulation program. So this is the uh, startup screen which just zip through now and head straight over to the drone selection panel. Okay, so from here you can actually see the menu screen, you just toggle through um, through the arrow keys or the WS key, um, going back by hitting the backspace and entering by hitting the enter, pretty simple, shows you the layout of the keyboards, uh, the keyboard, what the keyboards do, so you can actually scroll around and actually have a bit of a pan around and look at each drone itself, so that's pretty cool. So as you can see, you've got the Mavic 2 zoom to look at. Pro, Air, Spark, and not forgetting the classic Spire 1 Pro, which we about to fly, which would be awesome, and last but not least, the Phantom. So we have a look through all these. This particular flight, I'm taking the Inspire up because I've never flown an Inspire, and I would love to fly an Inspire, so I'm going to select this baby, and I'm going to get in the air. Quick walk around, pretty cool. Quite a detailed plan, it looks really good on the PC. Um, as I said before, Windows 10 only, guys. So it looks really cool. Detailed view of it, so let's cut the chit chat and let's get her in the sky. So as mentioned, you've got a few different flight options. So you can either fly in a city, on an island, or um, a hangar. So three different areas to fly from, or through, or at. Um, I'm going to select this particular flight. I haven't done the island yet. I have done the city, so I'm familiar with that. So I want to fly the city with the Inspire. So you can also select your takeoff points. So takeoff point one, two, and three. Not too sure why that is, but anyway it is so let's load her up awesome so normal controls to take off uh, I'll toggle through and I'll find the uh, joystick views got a few different views here by hitting the C button so you can control through and see the look down views if you're looking down at the remote, the FPV screen view, uh, or the actual real time rear view, or the view from the ground if you're the person looking at it. So you look at the joysticks moving, so obviously normal takeoff for a DJI, so 
left is um, yeah, southeast and right stick is uh, southwest. So both those go down and the drone takes off. So we're going to rear view here and off we go. That's pretty cool. The Inspire legs pop up and woo, off we go. We are going for a fly. So it's pretty twitchy here, a little, little bit um, of getting used to with the keyboards. It would obviously be a lot better if if you're using um, the actual DJI remote, which you can actually remotely connect to this software apparently. Not too sure how, but I've been told you can do it. So you can have a fly around the city, which looks like a bit of a high-tech version of Dubai, I'm not really sure. And it does show you some info on the screen, it shows you how fast you're going, um, it shows you your elevation and all the normal bits and pieces that DJI offer when you are flying their drone. So let's have a scoot around. Of course, the first thing everyone wants to know is what happens if you hit a building? Well, I'm about to answer that question right now. You crash, and your drone goes flying to the ground and smashes the million pieces, and then it re-emerges again. It's just before, at the same location, just before you crashed. So, just to make sure you did crash, you can go crash again. And, yes, there you appear again. So, it seems like you have a, a limitless supply of ten to fifteen thousand dollar drones which is awesome so now I'm going to cruise back down to the ground level there are some funky places you can fly downstairs there's not too much to do up top here but when you fly down below uh, there are some cool areas you can go to so let's scoot down there now and check them out So one of the cool things uh, you can try and land on top of one of the buildings if you want. Um, the grassy ones you can land on. However, uh, shortly after landing you come to grief. So not too sure why that is. It looks like it'd be a nice place to land. Obviously in real life, if you do land on top of one of these buildings, um, I don't know, maybe it'll cause you to lose your drone. So did you? I sort of figure, well, let's not teach that. Or maybe you just can't land on the grass. Not too sure. The legs pop down on the spire, which is pretty cool. And shortly after a perfect landing, um, yeah, it crashes you. So then you start again. So yeah, you can land on them, but not to worry. Anyway, let's keep on flying and let's cruise on down and see what else we can look at. So you'll see those little funny lines across buildings. If you ever see those lines anywhere, well, that's, uh, I think it's like an infrared electric fence. You touch those, uh, you crash, which doesn't really matter. So it's a few places to see here. As I said, when you go lower down, it's a bit harder with this drone I found. The Mavic is actually easier to maneuver through the tighter places. So it's a few um, tips and little cool little areas where you can actually fly your drone around the place. And I think I'm about to crash again. Yes, there's a there's a definite crash. A few places down down below there where you can fly the drone, which I didn't do with this one, but my next video I will. Just going through the vision, um, so that's the FPV screen there. You can see all the bits and pieces of DJI's software there on the screen if you want to stay on that mode. And the other mode, which is really funky, is the person real person view, which is coming up shortly. I'm just toggling through the modes here, just having a mess around. So I think I just set the drone to hover there. So you can access this mode here by hitting the J button. So what you can actually do is control you, the controller, and you can do a runner somewhere. So here I am getting the heck out of there. I'm getting hassled by security, so that'll want me flying there. So I'm just doing a runner over to the trees here. 
and I'm going to hide here. And I'm going to pull my controller straight out of my pocket and get flying again. Which is pretty cool. <laughs> so now what I want to do is I want to bring the bird down because I've just been spotted. And I've got to get the heck out of there. So your normal GPS uh, map guidance, you'll see the H for be home or whatever the the symbol is on the screen there. You'll see where yourself is positioned and you can either fly yourself home using the DJI software or just manually fly yourself home. So let's have a little bit of a speed up here and get ourselves in a position where we can land. So here I am from the ground view looking up so it actually shows you your drone landing so that enables you to I suppose practice controlling it, practice landing it manually which is pretty cool. As I said this would be great with an actual remote but still works pretty well with the keyboard so you get the idea. It's just a bit, um, a bit finicky making it nice and smooth but the idea is to um, get it landing in front of you nice and safely without crashing into something or someone so I'm going to try and land it right in front of myself here and end my flight on a high touchdown now there's a perfect landing so there you have it, the Inspire flight. Stay tuned guys, I'm going to do a Mavic flight next because that's pretty cool, the, the Mavic Zoom and the Mavic Pro. So I'll just put the controller back in my pocket, uh, grab my drone and I'm going to get the heck out of here. It's time to go. I'm sort of uh, imagining sirens and people yelling at me and machine gun fire and all that sort of stuff so it's all really cool we are in Dubai after all <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed this guys as I said keep posted I'm going to put some more flights up more different drones different areas I'm going to go to the island next so check that out thanks very much for joining me uh, yeah like comment share all the hoo-ha and I'm out of here Woo -hoo -wee! I am Superman <laughs> See you in the sky. Bye for now. Adios, amigos.